Blessings and salutations. My name is Yurima Karama. Real life, real talk. Uh, so, want to uh, update you. So, last night while they had the Oscars, and while uh, Chris Rock was doing his thing on stage at the Oscars and basically blasting the whole establishment for uh, their uh, blatant racism and exclusion of of blacks in film, in the film industry this year, uh, we had our first annual black carpet celebration here in Columbus, Ohio. Um, it exceeded my expectations. Uh, I didn't think that we were going to get the number of people out that we did, but it happened. Had people come from all over the Ohio region who came in and uh, basically supported this great event. Um, it was organized by uh, Tamika White, Queen Tamika, and myself, as well as a few other people uh, who played parts behind the scenes. Basically, what we did is um, we rented out a space uh, at a movie theater and uh, SMG uh, Theater in the Arena District here in Columbus rented out their space. Uh, we had the black carpet. We had uh, people shooting uh, photography. We had Channel 4 News that came. They interviewed uh, Tamika as well as myself. And just a beautiful festive event. There was food. Uh, there was good networking going on, people connecting. And then we had uh, we went into the theater for the live entertainment. We had uh, brothers like B-Jazz who did uh, music. We had a drum group. Uh, live singer Roger Parrish, and then we had a screening session where we actually uh, took a walk down memory lane, showed some films from the past, uh, from way, way, way back, uh, brought it up to date to the present, showed some films that we thought should have at least been recognized this year in film. Uh, Concussion was one of those, uh, Creed was one. Uh, let's see, uh, Beast of No Nation with Idris Elba, that was one. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, who else am I missing? Uh, yeah, it was uh, 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 Concussion with Will Smith. Uh, oh, NWA, that was one of the ones as well. So, uh, like I said, exceeded my expectations, and we're already in plans to... Uh, have this event next year. We, we're really uh, talking about taking it national as well. I think every city should have this. And one of the things that stood out about our event is the fact that not only did we recognize uh, uh, the artists that we see on TV on a regular basis, such as your Will Smiths, such as your Denzel, such as your, you know, from old, from way back, your Sidney Poitiers, but we also recognized our local artists. And that's why we want to take this on the road uh, and make this a national event, uh, Black Carpet Celebration, because uh, we have many artists around this country on a local level who don't get the recognition that they deserve, who don't get the accolades, the pats on the back for the work that they do. And these are people who are holding down jobs, you know, going to work eight hours a day and then living their passion after work, putting in that extra, going to the the the, the photo shoots, the film shoots and putting in extra hours and then having to get back up for their day job. So. That was the extra added bonus for our event is that we were able to actually recognize and give voice to uh, some of these artists that that uh, and 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 filmmakers and uh, independent filmmakers and producers that that don't get a voice. Well, they had a voice at our show. So today, uh, bring you up to date uh, today and and to find the to find these if you want to view the. Uh, uh, the news clip from us being uh, 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 interviewed on NBC. You can go to uh, my Twitter uh, page uh, or, or you can go to my Facebook page. Uh, everything is up under Yurima Karama. So that's Y-A-R-I-M-A-K-A-R-A-M-A -A -A -A, uh, to view that. Again, the event was spectacular. So today I'm driving and I'm lift, I'm listening to uh, Sirius XM Channel 126. I'm listening to the Karen Hunter Show. 
And Karen is talking about a multitude of different things. She's talking about uh, uh, Donald Trump and uh, his escapades with uh, the uh, Ku Klux Klan member uh, David Duke. And um, he, she's also talking about the Oscars, which is, you know, big headline news. And so I'm listening. So I call in and um, I tell, speak about this event that we had. And I basically said that, you know, to the same effect that I'm telling you is that, you know, we don't need validation. You know, we can do things ourselves. Uh, last night was living proof that we can do things ourselves. Uh, we had we had our own local sponsor sponsor this. As a matter of fact, the the organization that I'm a CEO of, uh, Why Our Urban Youth LLC, uh, we we. Uh, were part sponsors in this, uh, but we had local venues, uh, uh, local business owners, and 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 such uh, who were sponsors. We didn't have any big, uh, you know, Walmart, and we did have Kroger who donated uh, some some uh, some things to the to the event, uh, some baked things, some baked goods, and uh, some some glasses and stuff. So we did that. So I get on, I, I call into the Karen Hunter show and I'm just basically expressing how our event went last night and that we don't need validation. Karen goes in, she basically cuts me off and, you know, and when I say cut off, meaning, uh, cut me off the air and was like, well, no, you know, if I'm doing work, you know, I want to be, I want to, I want that recognition. I want that validation. And then she tried to make the comparison with, uh, a job saying that if I'm at work, you know, I want that if everybody else is getting promoted. I want that promotion. Why should I be excluded from that? This is what makes America great. We, you know, is everybody included. And so I'm going to fight and I'm going to wait basically and force them to give me that validation, that recognition that I deserve for being a top flight uh, uh, actor or actress. Uh, okay. Um, I will say this. I do agree with some of what Karen says. I, I know where her emotional response derives from. Uh her comparison with the job, though, uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing with this. Every black actor and actress in Hollywood uh, who didn't get nominated or who was excluded or felt excluded or felt that they weren't included, they got paid. End of the day, they got paid. Now, if they didn't get paid, that's a different story. They got paid. The awards, they don't have to do that. That's not guaranteed. There's nothing that says we have to give you an award. President Obama just gave out a Medal of Honor today. He didn't have to do that. There's nothing that said he has to give out a Medal of Honor. There's nothing that says they have to give out awards, which is why I say that if we want recognition and we want validation, we need, that's on us to do ourselves. See, I didn't sit back. Karen, if you're waiting on validation, let me give you this tidbit of advice. And you probably won't see this, but in the event that you do, let me give you this tidbit of advice. If you're waiting on, on validation from racist white folks, please don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath because you'll die of asphyxiation. So, at the end of the day, we eventually have to take it upon ourselves to do for ourselves. We have to take it upon ourselves to say, okay, you don't want us in your venue? Guess what? We have the means, the economic means, and the ability to go get our own venue and do it ourselves. And guess what? We did that. We did this, Tamika and myself and a few others, we put this together in six weeks. It took approximately six weeks to put this together. And guess what? We had a nice crowd. Very, very nice. Like I said, it exceeded expectations. We had a nice crowd of black people, white people, 
uh, Hispanic people, people came. Because you know why? You know why they came? Because we're an inclusive people. See, that's something you don't have to teach us. That's in us. We're going to include you, which is why we should lead the way, which is why we need to start these things, which is why the black carpet celebration should become a national event. And then we can invite people because we're inclusive. If you come to our black carpet celebration, you're going to get an award if you're worthy, if you've done the work, if you've put in the work, you're going to get the recognition. We don't have to wait on the Oscars to do that. We don't have to wait on anybody to do that. We need to we need to do that. That's on us. So, uh Karen, again, if you see this, uh hey, Queen, keep fighting the good fight. Uh, but don't hold your breath. Uh, cause uh one thing I've learned, you can't make a person change. Racism is like uh drug addicts, uh basically in this country. There have been many who have tried to get racist whites to change. Hasn't happened. Drug addicts, too. They have to hit rock bottom. They have to make that change. Judge can sentence them to jail time, can sentence them to treatment all he wants. As uh, soon as they get out, first liquor store, first drug spot they hit, they're back at it. Because why? You can't change a person. They have to want to change. So, again, Yurima Karama. Peace, man. Catch me on FB, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, connect with me on my uh, webpage, www.yurimakarama.com. And I will be back with more Real Life with Real Talk, as well as Voices from Behind the Wall. One.